Hi guys, welcome to the third part of the video series. I hope you are all doing well. In this part of the video series we will see how to do the texturing of this Morningstar weapon model in Substance Painter. So let's get started. So here we are in Substance Painter. Let's import our model over here. Go to File and click on New. For document resolution, I will keep it 2048. For template, I will keep it PBR metallic roughness. And then select the FBX file which we have already exported out from Maya. And then click on OK. And here we have our model imported in Substance Painter. I will delete this default layer. And then go to Texture Set Settings. And here click on Bake Mesh Maps. And here, turn off ID map, and I will keep the output size as 4096. And rest I will keep it as default, and then click on bake. And now let's start texturing this model. Now, for the metal body, I will not use the default materials present in Substance Painter. Instead, I have downloaded some texture images of different materials like concrete, cement, metal, rust etc. So I will create our own material out of these images. Now here in the layers panel add a fill layer. I will rename this as base metal. And now here in the properties panel, I will increase the metallic channel all the way to 1, so that we have a nice metallic material to work with. After that, click on this import resources button to import our textures in Substance Painter. And now, click on add resources, and then, choose the texture images that you have downloaded, and click on open. And then, we have to identify these images as textures. So select all of them and set them as texture. And over here, you can set it as current session, and then click on import. And now, these images will be imported to your current project. Now then, let's take this first image, drag and drop it to the base color. As you can see, the texture has been applied as a color in the model. You can adjust the tiling settings for this texture, by adjusting the scale value. You can notice that there is repeating patterns are quite visible if we go too big or too small. So to get rid of this repeating patterns, I will change this to triplanar projection. And now, we will adjust the contrast of this metal texture. Over here for this base metal layer, I will select add adjustments, and then choose add levels. And now with this sliders you can adjust the contrast to make it darker or lighter as per your choice. After that I'm gonna adjust the roughness of the metal. For that, I'll use the same texture image. So, drag and drop this image to the roughness channel. And now, let's add another levels adjustment to this base metal. And from here, change this affected channel to roughness. And then you can adjust these sliders as per your choice and see what looks best for you. After that, let's adjust the height channel for this metal texture. I'm gonna assign the same texture image for the height channel, so that we can get the bump effect for this metal texture. Now this is looking too much noisy. So I will add another levels adjustment over here, and change this affected channel to height. And now, you can adjust the height with these sliders and see what looks best for you. After that, if you want to change the texture image, you can simply drag and drop another image to these channels, and the good thing is, it will not hamper the settings that you already have adjusted. Once you are satisfied with the base metal texture, the next step is to create some scratches and worn down effects on some of the edges. 
So I am going to duplicate this base layer and rename it as Metal Edge. And now I am going to adjust the settings to create a lighter version and little shinier version of this layer texture. After that, I will add a black mask to this layer. And then from shelf panel, go to smart mask, and in the search bar, type edge. And then check out these smart masks and see what looks best for you. And now after adjusting the smart mask for the metal edge layer, the next step is to create rust for this model. So add a fill layer on top of the layers, and then rename it as rust. And then go to textures in the shelf panel, and search for the textures that you have imported. And now, drag and drop this rust texture image in the base color channel. And then change the projection type to triplanar. Let's change the color of this rust texture. For that, add a filter adjustment to this layer. Then click on this filter and search for gradient. And now, you can change color from here. And now I will increase the roughness for this rust layer and make it look less shiny. After that, I will apply the same rust texture image to the height channel to give some height information to the rust. It is looking too much right now, so I will add a levels adjustment to this layer. And then change this affected color to height, and then you can play with these sliders to adjust the height as per your choice. And after that, I will add a black mask on this rust layer. Then go to Smart Masks in the Shelf panel and search for Rust. And then you can try out these Smart Masks and play with the settings and see what looks best for you. I will keep this Smart Mask with the settings, it is looking pretty good. But still it feels like too much in some areas, so I will reduce them out manually. So select this rust layer, and add a paint adjustment over here. And then go to brush from shelf, and select any brush and start adjusting by simply painting it on the model directly. And now let's create some detailing for the model. For that, add a fill layer on top of the base metal layer. Turn off all these channels except height channel. And then go to procedurals from shelf panel. And then I will apply this pattern texture to the height channel. And now you can adjust the tiling of this pattern by tweaking the scale value. And then change this projection to triplanar. Right now these patterns are looking too sharp. So let's add a levels adjustment to this layer. And then change this affected channel to height. And then tweak these sliders to make it more subtle. And after that, let's add a black mask on this layer. And then select Polygon Fill Tool, make sure UV is selected and the color is white, and then select only the handle part. So now, it seems that for some parts of the handle, these patterns are not looking good. So I will also exclude those parts. For that, let's add a paint adjustment to this layer. And make sure the grayscale color is set to black, and then brush out the areas where you don't want to keep the pattern textures.
And in this way you can create different pattern textures for different parts of the model. I created some other patterns like these for the model. You can play around with and see what suits you the best. And now, let's create texture for the script part. So first, I will create a folder over here. And then drag and drop all the texture layers inside this folder, and then rename it as Metal. And then, add a black mask on this layer. Then select the Polygon Fill tool, and make sure UV mode is on, and color is set to white. And then select all the metal parts of the model. And now, for this grip part, let's apply a leather texture to it. So go to Smart Materials tab from the shelf panel, and search for leather over here. And then drag and drop different leather materials on top of the layer, and see what suits the best for the model. This material is looking nice for the grip. And now, add a black mask on the layer. Then select Polygon Fill Tool, and then select the grip part. And now, expand this layer folder, and you can find different adjustment layers inside this folder. You can change these settings as per your choice by adjusting all these layer settings. And after adjusting all the texture settings, you can hit the render button and then adjust the render settings over here. And then save your image once the render is completed. Thank you for watching the video, and stay tuned for more tutorial videos like this. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.